Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth.
that we who are gathered to do homage unto you in deepest thanksgiving look upon us in our humility and grant that being wiped clean from the stain of sin during the holiness of this great day we may rise to new life as worthy partakers of your death and resurrection we ask this through the same jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity with the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen come rejoice our lord in his risen sing out the proclamation come sing of his resurrection alleluia alleluia verso me nam chiste nastau tu regos nas kajdi jon dau te gotnia Christus marfix ta alleluia alleluia
The Lord is risen from the dead. Alleluia. The Lord is risen from the dead. Alleluia. The Lord is risen from the dead. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. And now let us turn unto the altar of God and confess our sins. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, and in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I have risen. I am with you once more. You placed your hand on me to keep me safe. How great is the depth of your wisdom. Alleluia. O oh Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. 
You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. You have raised Christ, your Son, who conquered death, and opened for us the way to eternal life. Let our celebration today raise us up and renew our lives by the risen Christ who is among us. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today, the solemnity of the resurrection of our Lord, the first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened over all of Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response for today's psalm is, This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The second reading for today is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, 
then you will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christians, to Paschal Victim, offer your thankful praises. O Lamb, the sheep redeems, Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contented in that battle. Stupendous, the Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, wayfaring, the tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection, bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope, is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ, indeed, from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. The stone which the builders have rejected has become the cornerstone. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us feast with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter, and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, 
true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. The earth feared and was silent when God arose in judgment. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer to you this day with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sin. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and loving Father, accept the sacrificial gifts which we offer to you with joy and which your church is reborn and nourished. 
through the same Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen the whole Lord be with you and also with you lift up your lower hearts we lift them up unto the Lord let us give thanks unto the Lord our God it is right and just so to do father all-powerful and ever-living God we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your son Jesus Christ our Lord especially on this day when he became our paschal sacrifice he is the true lamb who took away the sins of the world through his death he conquered death for us and by his wondrous resurrection he restored eternal life to us therefore we join with the voices of the seraphim the cherubim the archangels and all your angels along with all the saints in the entire church and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory repeating unceasingly holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest We give thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your Son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread. He gave you thanks and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Calling then his death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask that you would send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church, to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Church and with the Holy Spirit.
forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Christ Jesus bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father, and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. And may the gifts I have received this day bring me healing and strength, now and forever. Amen.
We know that Christ, rise, raised from the dead, dies no more, and death no longer has power over him. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, watch over your church, and bring us to the glory of the resurrection, promised by this Easter sacrament. We ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and your loved ones this Easter, and may the grace of God be ever with you. Thanks be to God. Let us go forth this day and proclaim as witnesses to the Lord that indeed he has risen. Thanks be to God. Good morning to all of you. As we celebrate this special Easter service, peace and blessings from our Lord Jesus Christ and from the congregation of Holy Name of Jesus, Polish National Catholic Church. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing the glory that is to be revealed to us. Words taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 18. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, witnesses, to the risen Lord. It is in the Gospel of John, chapter 20, that we read of Mary of Magdala, who goes very early in the morning to the tomb of Jesus and finds that his burial stone has been rolled away. So in fear she runs and tells Peter and John he is gone. They in turn turn and run to find the tomb empty. We further read in John's Gospel that Peter and John did not understand Scripture, that he, Jesus, was to rise from the dead. And so they went away to their own lodging. When Mary returns, and finds that both disciples are gone, she begins to weep. We continue to read verses 11 through 16. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she, stook, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Women, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus then said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, 
which means teacher. So Mary, according to the Gospel of John, was the first person to see the risen Lord. Not Peter, not John, or any of his apostles, but Mary. Whatever reason Mary did not first recognize the Lord, she knew. But yet, when he said her name, she knew. Mary went from uncontrollable grief and sadness to unbelievable joy. How she wanted to embrace him. But most importantly, how relieved she must have been knowing that he was alive and not dead. So it is on this Easter Sunday that our blessed Lord calls to each one of us by name and declares, I am risen. You know that this Easter so many lives have been changed from the effects of the coronavirus. So many of us have been directed not to embrace others. But it is on this Easter that our risen Lord comes to us, embraces us, calls us by name, and tells us that all will be well. To all the first responders, to the doctors and nurses, the paramedics and EMTs, to the health care workers and others, our risen Lord brings this Easter message. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. To all who have lost loved ones, grandparents and parents, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, neighbors and friends, our Lord brings this Easter message to you. Because I live, you will also live. When we think of the suffering and the passion of our Lord on that first Good Friday, and read of the events that took place that first Easter morning, our Lord reminds each and every single one of us that suffering and death is replaced by life. As Christians, my brothers and sisters, as Christians approach the tomb of Jesus and find it empty, so it is with all our fears and doubts. That Easter is all about new beginnings and new life. During the season of Lent, we were called upon to reflect for 40 days the sufferings of the Anointed One, who without sin took away the sins of the world upon himself. He was to suffer a shameful death on a cross who would bring about our own salvation. He was to become the high priest of God once and for all, shedding of his blood and offering of his body, a perfect sacrifice which no law could justify or atone for mankind. And so from all the sadness that we experience in the world today, the Easter message brings to all that life is so precious, a gift from God, which is eternal and which will go on. In the very depths of our souls, may we find our Lord calling us by name this Easter day with the blessed assurance, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he be dead, shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, on behalf of myself personally, and that of the Executive Committee 
of Holy Name of Jesus, Polish National Catholic Church. It is our prayer and our hope that you might experience the newness of life that our Lord gave unto us through his resurrection. May God bless each and every single one of us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.